What can you say except that was the most heartbreaking loss of the season so far for the Orioles. To me, that one hurt worse than McKenna dropping that ball in Boston. For one, I hate the Yankees more than I do hate the Red Sox. And, um, you know, just seeing Bautista give up that home run, you know, mislocated the splitter. Obviously was trying to bury it, just didn't get the break on it. And, then, you know, to make matters worse, you know, the next at bat he throws 102 up here and gets Rizzo to chase. He should have thrown that pitch to Judge. But it's not all on Bautista. I mean, the Orioles had a 4-0 lead in that game. Kyle Bradish couldn't hold the line, you know, throw a quality start. I always say quality starts get you wins. Get through six innings, give up three runs or less. Yes, I know it's hold to, hard to hold the Yankees lineup. It's hard to hold them in New York in their band box, toy box park. But it is what it is. Look, the Yankees are going to beat everybody all season. They're a really good team. And um, the Orioles fall to 1-3 and three against them on the air. But that doesn't mean that they still can't win this series. All right, Nestor Cortez is pitching for the Yankees tonight. He hasn't been on yet this season. Um, we have Tyler Wells on the mound. Tomorrow we get Clark Schmidt, who's been dog shit all season for the Yankees. We get to match up Gibby against him. So I feel like the Orioles have a good shot to win the next two games. They should definitely be motivated after last night to really kick some ass. There was just some missed opportunities last night. I mean... Yankee Stadium is so small that I was fooled twice last night, okay? The Mount Castle swing looked like he parked it 10 rows back, and it was, you know, it died out in center field, got caught. It was a pop-up. That's on me, just, you know, watching it. It looked like it flew off his bat, and there, you almost expect it to. And the Cedric Mullins one that could have been a grand slam, no knock on Cedric whatsoever. I just thought it was gone off the bat, and it died. And that's a product of playing games at that stadium, I hate that park so much. It's it's a shame that it's so tiny. It's, it just shouldn't even be Major League ballpark. It shouldn't be allowed. Um, it's too small. It's too small. And to think that the premier franchise of Major League Baseball is playing in a shithole like that, it's just sad. That, you know, Aaron Judge had the audacity to bash the wall at Camden Yards last season, but he plays in a toy box. You can hit a pop fly at Yankee Stadium and have it go over the fence. You know, you can hit a second deck home run that's not even a 400 foot home run there. It is a shithole. And they should be held accountable for building that place. They should be forced to move the walls back. They should. It's too small. It's too small for Major League Baseball. That's my rant on that. That was a horrendously gut wrenching game last night. Sucked to watch. Um. It was fun up until it wasn't. But you're going to have games like that throughout a season. 162 game season. I obviously can't expect to win them all. It just hurts because Cano threw 30 pitches. Bautista threw 15 and blew the save. So it's it's a little bit of a gut punch for the rest of this series. Having those two guys throw as many as they did. Bautista should be good to go if need be. But Cano just threw 30 last night. So you probably won't see him tonight. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Um... Definitely hard loss. I don't really want to talk about it anymore. I want to look on to tonight, the pitching matchup, Tyler Wells, Nestor Cortez. Nestor hasn't looked nasty so far this season. He's got like a five-something ERA. Um, Wells has been pretty solid for the Orioles. He's gotten deep in a few games. That's like my X-factor key for tonight. If Tyler Wells can push deep into this game, pitch six or seven innings, give up three runs or less, which you know he's capable of doing if you've seen him pitch before, then the Orioles can win this game. If he doesn't do that, they're not going to win. they got to get the bullpen a little bit of rest. The fact that we're all talking about, you know, a taxed bullpen in May, there's four more months of baseball. They're going to have to make bullpen trades. They're going to have to get another starting pitcher that can go deeper. Hopefully when John Means comes back, he can go. But that's the thing. He's coming off Tommy John and hasn't pitched in a year. So he's not just going to come out and give you six night after night after night. You know? Tyler Wells pitched into the seventh inning not too long ago. I believe that game was against the Pirates, if my memory is serving me correctly. But he looked good in that game. And I feel like, you know, if he bears down, he can do it again. Kyle Gibson just did it against Toronto at Toronto. They also play in a band box with a big lineup. He showed he can get pretty deep into a game against a tough hitting lineup in a small ballpark. So I feel like, you know, the next two nights, we have the edge pitching. So if those two guys come out and do their jobs, the Orioles can still win this series. I'm not letting that go yet. Um, 
Should be an exciting one. Um, you know, a little bit nervous after last night, but it's the Yankees. What do you expect? Um, they're the least fun games of the season for me. I like watching the Orioles play everybody else. I don't really enjoy when they play the Yankees. It's it's exciting when they win. Relieving. When they lose, I don't want to talk to anyone. <laughs> so, I like walked out of the room last night and didn't say another word. Um, went and watched my show and went to bed. Because that just... I needed to zone out for a minute and forget that game. It, it's... Ugh. The Yankees... Look, I'm a Baltimore fan. Obviously, I hate the Steelers. I'm a Ravens fan. I love the Ravens more than I hate the Steelers. I respect the Steelers. Okay? The Steelers are one of the most respectable franchises in football. I just happen to hate every single thing about them. But I do respect them, and I respect the rivalry that they have with the Ravens. Most of their fans are respectable. I'm friends with a lot of Steeler fans. No way do I love them. Don't get it twisted. But, like, the Steelers. I don't respect Yankee fans. I don't respect the Yankees. I feel like they cheat at any given turn. Um, any chance they have to cheat, they'll take it. Even by building that ballpark. You might not necessarily call that a cheat, but it was cheap. It was cheap to build a park that small. And then they're going to sit there and glaze judge for hitting 62 home runs. I guess I could probably hit 30 home runs in that ballpark if I was a major league player. You know, not me now, obviously. But, okay, say I played baseball throughout the rest of high school, college, got into the pros, and, you know, I'm saying, like, Ryan Flaherty could probably hit 30 home runs there. You know what I mean? It wouldn't shock me. It's such a small bandbox. So, like, look, I know Aaron Judge had a historic season last year. I'm He dominates the Orioles. He hits home runs over the wall at Camden Yards. I know he can hit them far. He doesn't need to play in a park that small, Okay. I just think the place is bullshit. Um, I don't respect the Yankees at all. They want to talk about 27 rings. I think 20 of them were won before, like, divisional era, when it was just AL, NL. And they won most of them before MLB expansion era. So, I think maybe, like, seven of them are won in, like, the modern era of baseball, which is still a lot. But I don't really give a shit what you did 100 years ago. You know what I'm saying? 80 years ago. Yeah, cool. You had Joe DiMaggio. You had Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Mickey Mantle. They're all great. Do you remember any of them? No, you don't. So, I feel like the modern Yankees are kind of a failure because the Yankees spend more money than pretty much everybody, almost every year. I know the Mets are bigger spenders than them now. I know the Dodgers spend a lot of money. But the Yankees consistently are in the top three to five payrolls. And they have one World Series in the entire 2000s, okay? Lost in 2001. I guess they won in 2000 against the Mets. But they lost in 2001. They lost in 2003. And then they win in 2009. Two World Series since 2000. A team like that. The Dodgers, they're failure too. That's why spending all that money nowadays doesn't mean shit. But their fans act entitled to it. I just, they sicken me. The entire Yankees organization sickens me. Down to the fan base. Down to their ballpark. All of it. Fuck the Yankees. Alright, I... I hate the Yankees. That's enough on that today. The Orioles will win tonight. Tyler Wells will, will get the win tonight. And Nestor Cortez will take the loss. You watch, you heard it here first. Um... Celtics won last night. <laughs> Let's move on to the NBA. Take a breath. Calm down a little bit. The Yankees get me worked up, man. The Ravens could lose to the Steelers, and I probably wouldn't be this pissed off. I'd be like, well, they're a great team, and they get the better of us. I gotta move on. The Celtics won last night. Make it 3-1. You know, they they get their one in the series. Um, game 5 will be in Boston. Game 6 back in Miami, Game 7 in Boston, if it's necessary. If the Celtics win another home game, well, they didn't win at home, but if they win the home game and make it a 3-2 series, 
Does Miami start to sweat a little bit? Do they feel pressure to close it out at home game six? Because if the Celtics force a game seven in Boston, I mean, it'd be kind of scary. I trust Jimmy Buckets, though. I think the Heat are still going to wrap this up in six at worst. They should. I mean, who the hell blows a 3-0 lead? So, I still feel like the Heat have this locked. Um, looking forward to the NBA Finals. Hopefully, Heat and the Nuggets. Great matchup. Um, Jokic versus Butler. That's going to be a classic. So, I am looking forward to that. You know, I gotta say, shame on Dallas fans. The Stars throwing shit on the ice last night because their team's not performing. Throwing shit at Golden Knights players. Popcorn and beers and everything else. The $20 beers launched them onto the ice. That's real smart. But, um... You know, we're talking about the same people that like the Cowboys. So I'm really not shocked. Um... It's just, it was disgraceful to watch something like that. In any sport, on any level. Uh, be an adult. Be grown. Look, I can sit here and cry about the Yankees. I'm not going to throw shit at them when I go to Camden Yards and they beat the Orioles. You know how many times I've been in attendance when the Yankees beat the Orioles? More than I'd like. And I've never once thrown anything. i probably leave and go, damn, and walk out of the park. And look, I know it's the playoffs. I know you spent hundreds of dollars on seats. Then you might say, god damn, and walk out. You know, I mean... What are you going to do? You're not out on the ice. You're not out on the field. Whatever the whatever sport it is. You're not on the court. You can't do anything about it, man. All you can do is cheer your team on. Maybe jeer the other team a little bit. But not throw shit at them. I mean, come on, man. That's They they were wannabe Philly fans last night. That was, they should be ashamed of themselves. Um, makes me... Look, I don't like Vegas. The Capitals played them in the Stanley Cup. I, they're just kind of annoying with all the shit they do pregame and everything. It doesn't really feel like a professional sports team. But I'm glad they're beating Dallas. And I did pick Dallas to go on to the Stanley Cup. Um, oh, I picked the Wild originally. But I said whoever wins that series will go to the Stanley Cup. Dallas is in the conference final. Um, they completely choked. Jamie Benn, classless move last night on that cross check. Just really left a bad taste in my mouth. Vegas versus uh, Florida in the cup. That's gonna be that's gonna be wild. You know, whoever wins is gonna lift the cup for the first time. So you gotta be happy for whichever organization wins. I feel like most people probably be, probably be rooting for Vegas, but I think Florida will be really cool to see win as well. Um, just because they've had all the upsets so far in this uh, Stanley Cup playoffs. But I don't know. It should be an exciting series. Hopefully Vegas, you know, sweeps Dallas off the ice. Because that was just disgraceful. Um, they, they really should be ashamed of themselves. And look, I understand being upset when your team loses. Like I said, um, there's nothing you can do. You know, there's nothing you can do. You just got to watch. I've, I've seen some heartbreaking losses in my lifetime. I saw the missed kick for the Ravens. Um, Edwin Encarnacion, home run in the wild card game. I've been to some tough ones in person. I saw 2013, I saw Tom Brady beat the Ravens 41-7 to in person. And Joe Flacco got benched in that game. They brought Tyrod Taylor in at the end. I mean, what are you going to do? You know, I'm sat in the end zone for that game. You know, was, I think it was like my birthday or Christmas present that year. I was little. My dad took me to the game. We're all excited. We're going to get to see our defending Super Bowl champion Ravens play the Patriots, who had their dynasty going on, and just wasn't meant to be that night. Left, you know. Said, ah, oh, shit. Left. What are you going to do? You know, you can't throw shit at people. I mean, that's a good way, for one, to never get to go to a game again. You get ejected and be banned from the park. Um, two, it's just classless, you know. It makes your team look bad. It makes fan base look bad, all that shit. I take pride in being part of good fan base, Baltimore fan base. I wouldn't want people to think like, oh, Baltimore has shitty fans, you know. I think most people would say, you know, look at a Ravens game. They're packed out every game, loud fans. I think most people will probably tell you the Ravens have a good fan base. Um, probably tell you we're pretty annoying, but, you know, we support our team well. Now, when that, like, the Stars had to put out an apology to Vegas and to the rest of the league and basically said they were embarrassed and everything like 
that's the lowest of the low. You know, the Suns last year when they lost to Dallas in the playoffs in the NBA, they sent out an apology to their own fan base. Like, look, we know that was the most egregious shit you all have ever watched type of deal. Got absolutely embarrassed by Luka and Dallas. That's one thing, okay? That's the team's fault. They didn't perform. The fan base probably felt shell-shocked and hurt. But when your team has to apologize to another team's fan base, that's how you know the fan base is fucked up. So, I don't know. That's just embarrassing. Um, hopefully Dallas never wins anything ever again in any of their sports because they showed that their fans suck. Um, we already knew Cowboy fans are ass. They're ass clowns. Um, the Stars fans showed their colors. I'm sure if the Rangers ever really got good and didn't choke away World Series, you'd probably see the same thing from them. So, I really hope they never win anything ever again. Um, it is what it is. I think I covered just about everything today that happened yesterday. That, you know, the Orioles, there's a lot that happened in baseball. I could talk for the next hour, but let's wrap it up today. Um, big Oriole game tonight. We'll see what happens throughout the rest of the playoffs in the NBA and the NHL. It's been exciting so far. Um, you know, the Nuggets sweep was a bit anticlimactic, but glad LeBron got knocked out. See all the Lakers fanboys crying. So, you know, a lot of exciting stuff going on. But anyways, thanks for watching today. Definitely mean a lot if you like. If you comment, let me know what you think about this video, all the stuff I talked about today. Definitely subscribe if you haven't yet. And... You know, it'd be really cool. So I appreciate you all. Um, hope you have a great rest of your day. Hope you enjoy whatever you're watching tonight. And as always, peace out and have a great day.